show. Pow! We just practiced that all day. Kendall, Natalia! Teachers, you guys made it. I always appreciate when you show up. That's fantastic. All right, you guys aren't going to believe it. we got a big show on tap today. Look who showed up. We have our students and our teachers from Blessed Trinity Catholic School in the Mayfair section of Philadelphia. They just entered the classroom where students and teachers are both getting graded by me. And look at Philadelphia in the house. What's up, everybody? Ooh, I love a good crowd. I love them. Hey, it's winner take all in the cash and bragging rights. We're going to start this game in just a second because it is time for a pop quiz. <laughs> Mrs. Rapper, I heard you go, oh, no. Have you seen the show before? All right, yeah. grab your buzzers, team. We're going to rock and roll on this one. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer, guys, 10 points for your team. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you got the question right, 10 points. If you get it wrong, a contestant from the other side can buzz in and steal those points. Pop quiz starts now. In the Disney movie, The Lion King, which is the name of Simba's father? Mr. Kelly. Mufasa. Good. How many days are in the month of September? Ms. Ruppert. 30. It is right. I'm going to accept that answer. What do you call the amount of water vapor in the air? We were looking for humidity there. In ice hockey, what is the name of the advantage a team gets when they have an extra player as a result of the other team's penalty? Mrs. Pileski. A power play? Power play is right. Nicely done. Students, let's get you on the board here. In a children's book by Crockett Johnson, what color is Harold's crayon that he uses to draw his own world with? Mr. Kelly. Purple. Purple's right. What is the name of the dance move where you quickly duck your head into your bent crook of one arm while the other arm is straight out? Mrs. Pileski. <laughs> a dash. You gotta show me. Hit it with it. What mammal known for building dams is the largest rodent in North America? Natalia. Building dams. A beaver? A beaver's right under the gun. What is the hottest planet in the solar system? Ms. Pulaski. Mercury. Incorrect. Students for the steel. Kendall. Mars. Incorrect. Venus is what we're looking at. It's got a thick atmosphere that traps the heat. What is the first and last name of the YouTube beauty guru who has her own jewelry line and starred as Megan in the web series After School? It's a stumper. We're looking for Summer McKean there, and that is it for Pop Quiz. What a round, what a round. Teachers came out of the gates quick there. 50 points for you guys over here. Students off to a little bit of a slower start, but a great start nonetheless. 10 points for them. Hey, today is a big day. We have the students and teachers from Blessed Trinity Catholic School in Philadelphia, home of the Bobcats. Let's meet our teams, too. You got it under the gun. I didn't think you were going to say beaver, and then you're like, Beaver. <laughs> Nailed it. So good job. Ten points for you guys. All right, so you're seventh grade. Natalia, welcome to the show. I'm so glad you're here. $500 on the line. If you guys win it, where's that going to go? The drama department. Oh, supplies for the Singing in the Rain play this uh, year. Oh, you guys are doing Singing in the Rain? Yeah. So you got to buy some water? <laughs> Someone's got to work the hose, right? Because how do you sing in, the, sing in the rain unless there's actual rain? Water. Yeah, there it is. That's what we're buying. $500. It's going to be huge. So you're a seventh grader. Tell these people what sport you play and why you love it. I play volleyball. Big time volleyball player. Are you yeah. a spiker, blocker, setter? What do you like to do? Um, I like to set. So you're a team player. Yeah. That's my girl. Nicely done. Kendall, seventh grader. And you're a big fundraiser for the school. Tell us what you do. I do the Bobcat Patrol, and we do the fundraisers and earn money for the school. Nice. So if, like, I wanted to earn, like, an extra 50 bucks, I'd call you up and be like, get the Bobcat Patrol. <laughs> and you'd, like, have, like, a sign. You're like, Bobcats assemble! <laughs> Or not. Okay, well, I'm going to order that myself. No problem. And down at the end, all the way, my man, Sean, you showed up today <laughs> to, to your dismay. How did you get here? Tell me the story. Well, you know, you get the paper, then you go down to the office and you find out. You bring it home, then your parents force you to come here. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me you, you got called to the office, which is already a scary thing, and then you go home, you take the letter, you're like, all right, mom, they, they're making me go on TV, and your mom makes you do it, and you're like, I don't, please don't make me go. Yep. Okay, well, we are so glad to have Sean today. We're happy to have all three of you guys. Good luck. Sean's mom, wherever you are, good choice. We're pumped we brought him. 
All right, teachers, good to see you guys. I'm, I'm, I hope no one's mom made them attend the show today. You're all here on your free will? Yes. All right, good. So, Mrs. Rapper, good to see you. You're the team captain today, so $500 if you win this thing. Where's it going? We are getting more supplies for our science lab. Nice, awesome. Yes. Some beakers, some fire maybe, whatever Chemicals, you need. Yeah. yeah. Oh, some, yeah. gotta make it. Okay. Explosions, yeah. yeah. So, stuff. you teach first grade? Yes. Uh, and that's what you're buying for the explosions? <laughs> yeah, we like to experiment. <laughs> yeah. Don't send your kids to Mrs. Rapper. <laughs> all right, so if you guys, uh, if you guys are in first grade, you know, you, you have a big accomplishment because you're, you're kind of helping these kids succeed. What's yes. it like to have like the first graders ripping around and keeping control of everybody? Well, some days it's a hot mess, and yeah. some days <laughs> it's more controlled, but they're six. And that's they're that's awesome. honest. Hey, so, that's an honest answer, is. and I love it. All right, Mr. Kelly, good to see you. Oh, you're the advisor you. of a big time club at your school, I something am. that's pretty popular. Yes, yeah, I run the chess club at school. Are you yep. digital or are you old time Bobby no, Fisher style? Old time, we have boards and pieces, yep. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Are you the best one in the class? I am. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Nicely done. And Mrs. Pulaski, good to see your seventh, seventh, uh, seventh grade teacher. Yes. Uh, and your learning in school is a little bit different, a little bit unique. Tell these guys what it's all about. Uh, me and Mr. Kelly like to do uh, different activities with the kids. We do uh, mystery dinner theaters and we like to do escape rooms with them as well. So not our kids are trying to leave school. You just lock them in. <laughs> Good luck getting out, kids. <laughs> well, listen, the, the, no one has to escape here today, but you will have to escape detention because that's what's coming up next. Let's do it. <laughs> Has anyone ever just not gotten out like they're still stuck there right yeah, now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, some kids are in there. <laughs> Hopefully they're watching. Teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you'll have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to pass the other side or play. If you choose to play and you answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to de detention. If you get it wrong, however, they can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody else to detention is going to get 40 points. So students, you guys can crawl right back into it here. And the category we're going to start with right off the top is dinosaurs. So students, do you want to pass over to the teachers or play dinosaurs? We're going to pass. <laughs> teachers, pass. Here we go. What kind of dinosaur has bony plates running down its back and four spikes on its tail? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is right. Top pass for the students. That one came back to bite you guys, which means teachers, you get to decide which students go into detention. Natalia. Natalia, <laughs> out of the game. Sorry, girl, you're the first one in there. Don't worry, we're going to have people sending your way here next because the category back to you guys is popular music. Okay. We'll play. What delicate singer won Artist of the Year at the 2018 American Music Awards? Mm, Taylor Swift. Mm, that's right. Oh! Back to back. Was that a guess, you guys? No. Yeah, they knew it. They knew it. They no, knew it. Know. All right, well, guys, another two back here. They're both smiling at you right now, but someone's got to go to detention. Join Natalia over there, who's filling another chair. Kendall. Kendall out of the game, <laughs> leaving Sean by himself. Sean, you get the category, too. So you choose whether you want to pass or play this. Be careful passing it to a full three teachers over here. Could be a little bit risky. So how do you feel about the category of English? Play. That's what we love. That's what we love. He's holding it down here. Here's your question, bud. Uh -uh. What type of sentence shows surprise, excitement, or intense emotion? Exclamatory. My dude! So you get to send a teacher to detention. Which one's going? Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly out of the game. He said it with this big smile on his face. You must have loved that one, huh? Teachers, it goes back to you guys as Mr. Kelly joins our ladies in detention. Take a seat, relax, enjoy yourself over there, Mr. Kelly. Category, guys, is currency. Do you like to spend money? I don't have money. We're going to pass. My man, you got this one. Which U.S. president is featured on the face of the dime? Five seconds. If you don't know, take a wild guess. Sorry, Sean. We needed something. We couldn't get it out of you, which means, unfortunately, my man, you have to go to detention. We are looking for Franklin D. Roosevelt there. 
So students are out of this one. Mr. Kelly, you're officially released. Teachers take an 80-point lead for the students' 10. We'll be right back to see if they have any champion spellers on the show. I think we do, so come on back. to the classroom today we have students and teachers from blessed trinity catholic school in mayfair and they're going head to head teachers versus students score teachers in the lead 90 points to the students 10 there's still plenty of time left in the game for anyone to win so let's get right back into it with some spell check okay guys here's how the game's going to work i'm going to give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it we have two minutes on the clock when I call your name, step up to the microphone. If you get the word correct, you stay in the game. But if you get it wrong at any point or say a wrong letter, you are out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points. But if the clock runs out, each player left standing is going to get 10 points for their team. Let's play spell check. Teachers, you're up first. The first word is false. F-A-L-S-E. Natalia, image. Image, I-M-A-G. Next word, Mr. Kelly, is giant. G-I-A-N-T. Kendall, level. L-E-V-E-L. -E -E Nailed it. We are on fire right now. Appeal. A-P-P-E-A-L. Complex. C-O-M-P-E-L-E-X. Good. Beneath. B-E-N-E-A-T-H. Discount. D-I-S-C-O-U-N-T. We are on fire right now. Who's the first to mess up? Erosion. E-R-O-S-I-O-N. Academy. A-C-E-D. Out of the game. Teachers on the board here. Hesitate. H-E-S-I-T-A-T-E. -E. Did not hesitate there. Challenge. C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E. -E. Magazine. M-A-G-A-Z-I-N-E. Getting harder here. Unnatural. U N N A T U R A L. Quotation. Q U O T A T I O N. Teacher, stay perfect. Electrical. E L E C T R I C A L. My man. Individual. I N D I V I D U A L. Good. Legislative. L E G. Sorry, you're out of there. Particularly. P A R T I C U R. Out of there, down to <laughs> Sean Wristwatch. W R I S T W A T C H. Good. Agriculture. A G R I C U L T U R E. Good. Hold on to it. Misconception. M I S. C-O-N-C-E-P-T-I-O-N. -E My man, wow, what a round. Holy, I'm sweating right now. Let's recap our scores. Two teachers left, which means they come up to 110. Sean, back against the wall again. He says, yes, I can. Ten points over here. But we're not done yet. Picture day is next. And hopefully those smiles stick around during our final exam. The classroom is still in session when we come back. to the classroom today with students versus teachers from Blessed Trinity Catholic School in the Mayfair section of Philadelphia. I've made my way out into what's calling a little bit of a younger crowd here, right? I got Michael and Peter over here. I have Joel down at the end. He's our alternate. He should have played. What's your name? Owen. Owen is a rock star. Tell these people who's winning this thing today. The students. The students are coming back, right? Yeah, you got them. All right, so tell me, who do you know up here? Why'd you show up today? Well, Mr. Kelly, Ms. <laughs> we're <Plus>. buckle up, yeah. <laughs> They're like one of my favorite teachers from last year. No way. Yes, but Sean, he's my mini me. Sean's mini so, me. He's been doing well. Yeah. Man, he put a huge showing up there in spell check. Yeah. So you're proud of him? Yes. And he, you taught him everything he knows? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> All right, Sean. If anything happens, he's gonna come in and replace you. So if you pass out, we have a replacement ready to go. All right. So right now, guys, the score 110 for the teachers, 20 for the students, but it's still anybody's game. And you guys know what time it is? Let's show your pictures. Everybody smile into the camera, because it's picture day. Yeah. 
Sean, you got a cool best friend, man. That guy's an awesome dude. All right, teams, grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you guys three clues, one at a time. With each clue, we're going to move three of those boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify that picture is going to win 10 points for their team. But if you get it wrong, the other team can buzz in and steal those points. We have three pictures today. Let's get right into it. Put a big smile on. Here's picture number one. This popular 90s toy is making a comeback. You can take this toy anywhere you go. No guesses yet. Clue three, these dolls are less than four inches tall. Miss Rupper. Polly Pockets. Is it a Polly Pockets? That's exactly what it is. Polly Pockets making a big comeback here for the holiday. All right, guys, that brings you up to 120, a 100 point lead. Students, let's get you guys right back into it here as we get into our next picture. This artist won the Grammy Award for Best New Artist in 2016. Clue number two her fans are called Megatrons. Natalia. Megan Trainer. Is it Megan Trainer? That would make sense. The Megatron fans. That's an incredible nickname. I gotta know who figured that one out. That's wild. All right, let's bring it into picture number three and our final picture here on Picture Day. This person loved French food and wine. Everyone at home, it's like it's me. <laughs> Clue number two. He is a founding father. Finally, here's your third clue. This is a tough one. He was a third president of the United States of America. Mr. Kelly. Thomas Jefferson. Is that TJ? That's exactly who that is. That's Thomas Jefferson right there. Let's take a look at our scores. Teachers 1 at 30 on the board. To the students 30, the both teams have been cramming for this because it's the final exam. Let's go. Top of today's final exam is famous sidekicks. I'll ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to get them 100 points to their score. Teams, you're going to work together during the commercial break, so no writing anything quite yet. Here are your questions. First question, what is the name of the reindeer who tags along with Kristoff in the Disney movie Frozen? Second question on the final exam. Trish and Dez are the sidekicks of what Disney Channel show starring Ross Lynch and Laura Marano? Finally, what Marvel superhero has a sidekick known as the Wasp? Ooh, okay, three great questions. We know them. Who's going to get them right? I don't know, but each team has 60 seconds to talk about it, come up with their answers in just a couple of minutes. Stay tuned because we're going to figure out which team ranks first in the final Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Into the classroom today, we have students and teachers from Blessed Trinity Catholic School. They're going head to head. Who's going to win? I have no idea. But the scores stand as follows: 130 for our teachers and 30 for the students. So it's still anybody's game with 300 points still on the board. The topic of today's final exam is famous sidekicks. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Don't forget each correct answer, guys. 100 points for your score. So let's do it. Let's see who aced their final exam. More importantly, who's going to take the bragging rights back to their school? So let's do it. What is the name of the reindeer who tags along with Kristoff in the Disney movie Frozen? We're going to start over here with the students because you guys are trailing by 100 points. You got to stay afloat here. What did you guys say? Uh, Sven. Sven is correct. That is well done, guys. Bring it to a tie game. Teachers. Do you, like, do you like movies, right? Teachers love movies. So what is it? What is the name of the reindeer who tags along with Kristoff? You said... 
Sven. Sven is right. You guys spelled it wildly different both ways. But here we go. We're going to move right into our second question. Trish and Dez are the sidekicks on what Disney Channel show starring Ross Lynch and Laura Marano. Students, we're going to start with you. Great show. Do you love it? Austin and Allie. Austin and Allie. I hope you do. Here we go, teacher. Mr. Kelly, you said? Austin and Allie. How did you know that? Teachers, wow! Coming up to our final question: A Marvel superhero has a sidekick known as the Wasp. Students, you said Ant-Man. To force it to overtime, <laughs> teachers, you get it wrong. We go to OT. What Marvel superhero has a sidekick known as the Wasp? <laughs> For the win, teachers take the 100-point lead and the game.